Good evening. It is Sunday, 9 p.m. Central European time. It's 8 p.m. in the UK, and you are watching ESC Fan TV for another Retrovision. Yes, in 1993, Radio Telepis Aaron hosted on behalf of Ireland, and they, at that time, performed Ireland's largest, most expensive outside broadcast ever, live from Mill Street. As you can see, as homage to this, I too have spent some time creating an outdoor broadcast. Ta-da! Except mine didn't cost £2.2 .2 million. Pounds. But with me tonight, there is a fantastic panel of guests ready to take us through the highlights of that contest that happened just a mere 31 years ago. Right, guys, before we start, let's just give a little bit of background to this. So Eurovision 1993, it was held on the 15th of May, Mill Street in Ireland. Um, it was actually held in a crest, equestrian centre. They had to dig out the uh, floor and everything to accommodate the staging because they needed the height. Um, they also had to upgrade the railway line and the town's railway station um, to accommodate everyone as well. Sadly, Yugoslavia were missing, but 25 countries competed, including three very important countries for the first time because we are going to hear entries tonight for the first time ever in Eurovision history, this is, uh, from Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia and Slovenia, who actually had to go through a special preliminary round alongside Estonia, Hungary, Romania and Slovakia to actually get into the contest. At 25 countries, could you believe this was the largest Eurovision ever? How could it get any bigger than that? Find your crystal ball and come back to 2024. Whew. Gets, a, gets a bit bigger, doesn't it? Um, as I've said, it was RT's largest outdoor broadcast and the joy of opening the show went to Italy. Now, guys, throughout the show, we're going to be looking for your opinions in the chat room as well. So if you're in the chat room, do give us your views on the songs. We've grouped the songs roughly into uh, groups of six uh, give or take, those of you that are good at maths will realise that 25 into 6 doesn't necessarily go. Um, so there's going to be an odd group of 7 there as well. See, I knew you'd be on the ball. Right, panel, are you ready? Okay, let's get this show started. Here are songs 1 to 6. <laughs> Ma si consumano e i giorni non cambiano mai. Svegliati sole, fatti sentire, oggi nessuno domanda di te. Ma le anime stanche aspettano il sole.
grandeur de vent Vous les montreurs de chiens savez guitare ou beau jouer Je ne viendrai pas danser had some fabulous songs there italy turkey germany switzerland denmark and greece rounding it off um oh sean give us your favorites what 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 stood out for you out of those so, six um, i really like greece i love that song um it's more like it upbeat i like the the song from uh from denmark as well see back band but why were they all stood around in a circle it's like you know, like some of them must, have, you know, had the backs to the audience. So when I always had the backs to the camera, it just didn't make sense that staging at all, really. But it was a good song. It was a bad, a bad start. I mean, uh, unfortunately, it was quite a, a weak entry from uh, Italy for once. Um, you know, to start us all off, I, I liked his little marching on the spot at one point. That was that was good. And uh, Turkey having the, uh, you know, the Turkish Shane McGowan, uh, you know, so uh, that, that that was all right. But I think for for me. The German was a little bit like um, middle of the road kind of pop kind of things that you would hear on the radio, and you, you just forget about it really. Um, being a being a bit of a ballad queen, I think Switzerland really stood out for me. And Greece, I mean, apart from the risky de- dress, there was there was a guitar, the old Voyager guitar thing, and and bongos as well, like bongos. And Turkey, the song sounded like Faith. And the guitarist in the background was dressed as George Michael in the Faith video. <laughs> and did, did, did you notice uh, the Italian bass player was like Italian Brian May as well, with his with his curly hair and his like leather waistcoat? Yeah, but I'm pretty sure I, I was robbed with Watu's implement. So Ma- Watu's implement. Watu's implement. Welcome to Yorkshire. Should have done better. Was the Danish entry just a bit too old fashioned for 1993? Yeah. I thought it was very old fashioned, and I, th- I think just in general, there, there are a lot of entries that were quite old fashioned. There were people turning up in um, in mullets, um, and and I just felt like a lot of the countries at the start, it, it was as if they just couldn't be bothered. They couldn't be bothered to turn up. <laughs> oh, Bingen then... has just had a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and for me, that I, I just thought, thank God we have Eurovision now, where the producers get to pick the songs because. Yeah, I, I just thought you, you couldn't, apart from Switzerland, you couldn't have picked any worse songs to start off. And I, I just think 
a lot of people that watched Eurovision from the start, they probably would have just turned off. And yeah, Denmark in particular, I just thought it was just so old fashioned. Well, first of all, for in my opinion, every song was old fashioned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, um, even Switzerland, because I think Switzerland actually would, even today, I think that Swiss entry would still actually stand up in the modern contest. Not for my taste, but um, my favorites were um, actually Denmark <laughs> and um, Italy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, whoops. Those are the two entries I've got old fashioned written next. <laughs> oh dear. This, this has not gone down well. This has been a retrovision 1993. Bye bye. 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 bye.